Hey, boys and girls, today we're going to be working on a flamingo painting. We're going to use watercolor for the background and we're going to make our flamingo out of tissue paper. So I hope you guys got, had fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this project and make sure that you guys are staying safe and that you're washing your hands and you're sanitizing and you're cleaning up your area. So let's go ahead and get creative. So the supplies that are we going to be needing for this project is going to be watercolor. I actually got some special watercolor, but you could go ahead and use a Crayola regular watercolor if you don't have this, because I know this could be an expensive side. But I'm going to go ahead and move on with this one. And what you're also going to need is some paintbrush, and we're also going to need some tissue paper. I already basically did the form of my flamingo already on this so once we're done doing the background on this we're going to go ahead and put it glue it on the paper so we could create our flamingo so let's go ahead and move on to the first step what we're going to do first is we're going to go ahead and create this background so what i'm going to do is i'm basically going to make part of the sun on here and then we're gonna cre recreate like somewhat of the lake it's all gonna be vibrant colors so the colors that i'm gonna be using today is gonna be orange light yellow darker yellow pink light green dark green black um somewhat like a dark blue and light blue red and orange so I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up with some water. So what I'm gonna start off doing is I'm gonna go ahead and start right here in the middle and I'm gonna create the sun basically. And then we're gonna go ahead and move on to create the reflection of the sun. And we're gonna move outwards to create the rest of the colors. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the lighter yellow. Or the brighter yellow, I mean, sorry. And we're gonna go ahead and start creating the sun. So you wanna make sure that's right in the middle. Get one little dip in the watercolor should actually cover this so we don't have to dip no more just go ahead and spread it out as you see we already got the sun going and then we're going to move on to the bottom of the sun basically the reflection so in order for me not to get that confused i'm gonna go ahead and just use the lighter yellow and we'll go ahead and go down kind of doesn't look lighter but it really is lighter and we're gonna kind of create a reflection so this doesn't have to be perfect this is just more the water so this is why i'm just gently going in and i'm just creating basically the reflection As you see, it lightens up on the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and just add a little bit more. Um, I think that's about much. Cause remember, we're gonna have the leaves coming up. So we don't have to worry so much about that. So we go ahead and just color that in. Thing I love about watercolor is that you can actually get this it real quickly so I'm just spreading all this out so it'll actually dry quicker and it'll blend in with the re other reflection of the water so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna move on to our next color which is gonna be orange we're just gonna highlight the top of the Sun orange so let's go ahead and move on to that orange and this doesn't have to be perfect angled or, or nothing like this this is more like a reflection too so I'm just gonna go ahead and just go around and give it a little bit of shine like I said just go around 
can't eat them. Uh, make that so perfect. So our next step is actually going to be adding some pink around the background. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to start on the top because I don't want it to go too dark on the side. So I'm going to just go ahead and start on the top. So this pink is basically going to go all the way up here. And then we're going to go ahead and continue to blend this in and move it down. To the sides and we're gonna basically try to fill up the rest of the background here with that pink I don't do that unless I'm just blending part of those together I mean not too much and then we're gonna continue to do so all around the background and when we come down to the leg what we're gonna do is we're gonna use more blue and then we're gonna have little spots of paint around this and then we're gonna go ahead and create those leaves so now that I gave you kind of an idea of what we're doing we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna fast forward this and I catch you guys on the next best next step so if you need to pause just look at the video if you're doing the project go ahead and do so but at least you got the idea of what we're doing so let's go ahead and finish this. paper we're gonna put some glue in the back I did put a little bit of tape so it'll hold better so once I actually did and done that I'm gonna go ahead and put the hot glue and I'm gonna place it on the paper and then I'm gonna move on to the neck and the head and then we're gonna finish off this drawing or painting I should say
So as you see, I'm using a hot glue. It'll probably stick a little bit better. Just be careful though, the paper might break. But go ahead and put it on. So we're basically gonna put it right in between the water and the sun. So go ahead and put it on. And then we're gonna move on to put in the, the neck. And you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna basically give it its form. And then we're gonna add some legs with the paint. And then we should be done. So I'll catch you when we are done with this. still practicing my water color skills because I really don't do much of watercolor but don't worry kids I'll get better Miss Tasha always gets better and so will you so please don't give up keep on practicing because who knows you might be a famous artist in the near future so I hope you guys had fun I hope you guys enjoying this and tune in for the next one